A little while ago I created a bed roll using the Gore-Tex bivvy. I put all the pads inside the bivvy, rolled it and that's how I carry it. But um, I found something that I like a lot more. It's got a reflector in it this time. It's central zip and I've tested it. And boy, warm, not just warm, super warm. Even if you've got a really old sleeping bag that you thought you was gonna chuck. Don't chuck it, come with me. And welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor. There's pros and cons to both the systems. Like I said, one is exceptionally warm, hot in fact. The other system is more breathable, um, just as waterproof. The other is hotter, like a sauna, but um, not as breathable. So I just have to fathom how I'm going to create it a breathable system. Now the newer part of the kit is a reflector and I've teamed it up with a newer type of um, roll mat which is uh, I think an EVA foam. I've tried it on its own straight on the deck it wasn't up to much so I teamed it up with a blizzard survival blanket you can also buy the blizzard survival tubes. Nothing more than a silver reflector that goes around the whole system. 58 part bivvy as a central zip that really helps getting in and out of this system and it's a hell of a lot lighter than the original system which was the Gore-Tex and the army roll mat and the army self inflator so I've got elements of both new and old okay here we are that's the full ground system and it's not far off being like a swag if I was just to add a sleeping bag into this and roll a sleeping bag into it I know it would increase its diameter here but it'd be everything you need and that could sit on top of a pack like that so a 58 pack bivvy here it's not Gore-Tex it's kind of like a polyester I should imagine it's not incredibly thick either so it could tear but I've cleared the deck of any debris. Now the Pat 58, quite a stealthy little colour as you can see. And here is the reflective I put in, which is the Blizzard Survival Blanket. A central zip. And it's bomb burst as well. So I can just pull to unzip without it snagging. And then wrapped under the actual mat itself and round the top is the Blizzard Survival Blanket. And there's a bit of noise off it, which is why I didn't like the original. But um, for the sake of that noise, this is phenomenal. The actual ground mat itself, 285 grams worth of EVA foam from Highlander, claiming it to be a five season um, NATO pad. Uh, it, it's warm, but it's, it's not five season until you add a blizzard survival blanket. It goes underneath the mat, but also inside the bivvy, which is water resistant, not waterproof because it has no baffle on the zip. Any moisture is gonna get in through the zip, nowhere else. Now just putting that reflector inside here has increased its R rating like you won't believe. Both the bivvy and this reflector here, the Blizzard Survival Blanket are not breathable. So if you need to vent, you need to undo zips, both on your sleeping bag and your bivvy and take the metallic part off and cool down that way so you don't get too hot and sweat in it. You start sweating in this and 
uh, in the middle of the night, that sweat in the cold weather can turn to ice. But for a short term emergency, phenomenal. You're not going to get hypothermia in any kind of low degrees Celsius or Fahrenheit with something like this. Mine's teamed up with the 58 sleeping bag as well, which is the feathered bag. It's not quite down. They are feathers. And mine has lost most of its feathers. It's years old. And it's a shame because I love the actual bag. But it's lost that many feathers. It's lost all its R rating. So that's a shame. But I think I can rescue that bag just by getting into this. Let's have a look. I don't always need a bag. This is quite sufficient for this kind of temperature. As you can see, one half over and the other half over. I've got two layers. From here I bring the 58 bivy and zip it up. All this is sufficient enough right up until winter just as it is. Warm clothing obviously. Um, I can feel the heat emanating from the pad which on its own just didn't work for me. And it's throwing that body heat straight back. God this is phenomenal. My feet are so warm. So, so warm. It's amazing what a blizzard survival blanket can do. Now imagine putting my 58 pack bag into this. There it is winterized. Luckily in my pack, I just happened to have a 58 pack sleeping bag. That was lucky. It also has a central zip, just like the 58 bivy. It's really accessible, which is why I like this. So undo, to undo the 58 bivy, pop the 58 bag in, and the blizzard goes around the bag. You need heat to radiate. I'll to put this hat back on, top of my head's disappeared. The sleep system is designed for your body heat not to escape like a sleeping bag you're the furnace you get in it it's your body heat's job to warm the sleeping bag and the sleeping bag um, dissipates the heat very very slowly about six hours usually from getting in the bag to getting out is when your body will start climatizing to the same temperature as the sleeping bag and that's when it bottoms out so that is below you, the comfort level of your sleeping bag rating. But this maintains that body heat a lot, lot longer. Hours, perhaps even a whole 24 hour period, maybe more, I don't know. Haven't tested it for that long. But already, if I was to leave the sleeping bag in this and roll it and put bungees round it, I have got myself a swag. Now the Aussies love their swags, but it's more like a tent. It, it'll, ha it'll be raised, unlike a bivy, because everything, your ground pad, your insulation, and your sleep system, like uh, your sleeping bag or a wool blanket, whatever, is in one roll. You get it out, take the bungees off, throw it down, get in. I mean, I like that simplicity. I like the fact that everything is in one unit here in the UK for some reason people have it in the head that you have to separate everything your, your sleeping bag from your ground pad from everything and put them all into different little stuff sacks and carry them all separate and it's just the way it is in the UK um, but like I said a swag is designed to be a rollout put it on the ground and get in wow my knees here just while I'm talking to you Oh, warm as toast. That's unbelievable, just, just like that. And yet, the actual material is still cool. Okay, I'm gonna get into this. This time, actually inside the sleeping bag, bring the two layers 
of this over and zip up. An inflatable is very good for keeping lumps and bumps at bay underneath your sleep system. But you notice I'm inside the bag, here's my knees. One half of the blizzard bag over, the other half the other way. Start zipping up, hood up. Now the last thing I zip up would be from the inside, which is the sleeping bag. But you're not going to see that, so I'll just show you this bit. One side over the sleeping bag, the other side up, the bivvy, up like that. This bit here, you can see all the draft would come in on modern bags. You'd have a cinch cord and you could pull this tight. 58 DOS bag, um, that wasn't thought of back then. If I had a steel Nalgene bottle, I could boil up some water make a hot water bottle with it and put that in and boy that would emanate a stupid amount of insulation <sighs> down <sighs> gone farmer's got his muck spreader machine there but as warm as that's going to be it's not going to breathe. It's a problem that can easily be cured by venting it like that. Just open up a zip, let some sweat of your moisture escape. But now for my own curiosity, I want to know if I can wrap all this into a swag. Get it all together and roll it including the sleeping bag. I'm not sure of the weight of the actual 58 pack bag. It's not light, but again, it's not insurmountable because the weight of the sleep unit, the ground unit itself is pretty light. I've weighed it. Highlander sleep mat, the 58 pack bivvy, and the blizzard um, survival blanket. In total there, uh, three elements is coming to 1.4 kilos, 1400 grams. I did a similar thing, it's on channel where I used British Army kit mat, a Gore-Tex bivvy and the inflatable and that is coming in at 2.1 kilos. But now it's a bedroll with a sleeping bag, a bit like a swag. I've got a couple of bungees in my pack. Which was off my Gore-Tex version of this. So I'm just going to put a couple of bungees around that now. This is what you've just seen with the blizzard. This is the Gore-Tex version. Remember the Gore-Tex version here on the left hasn't got a sleeping bag in. That's just two roll pads and the Gore-Tex bivvy itself. That'll do for now, there's a sleeping bag in there as well. A ground pad, one of, um, the reflector, the actual sleeping bag, the actual bivvy. It's not too bad in weight. I'd prefer it up here to carry like that. That would leave a pack that's completely empty, just carrying that. So in that pack, your spare clothing, um, obviously a cook system or something would usually go in side pockets anyway but this that's me done the Gore-Tex version 2.1 kilos without a sleeping bag on the one we've just seen here without a sleeping bag um, 1.4 kilos with the 58 system it's going to need venting so once you are sure you as warm as you possibly can be open the zips pull the silver off the sleeping bag and that will maintain your body core for as long as it takes throughout that night make sure i haven't left anything and i have a single feather from the 58 
DOS bag there. This is the kind of feathers you're up against. It's not little goose down, seagull feathers. And it's lost a lot of that. So there's its insulation gone until today. So I don't know how much a 58 bivy would be these days. You're going to need to shop around. Um, British Gore-Tex bivvies. I don't know how much they're worth. I mean, I got mine for two quid, but uh, you're going to be paying somewhere between 16 and 25 quid, depending on the grade. Bivy survival blanket. I'm sure they were somewhere around the 26 quid mark. And they're very fragile, but they're easy to repair with a bit of tape. So there's two systems that I can experiment with. Now I do prefer a hammock camp. Um, it's quite an addictive little thing that, but I, I really enjoy a bivy. I haven't been in a tent for years. So I haven't tried that system yet in a hammock. If I can find a little quiet spot, we'll try that now. One stealth hammock in bright yellow. With the bag system in its entirety just placed straight inside, no messing about. Again, I'm not going to do the sleeping bag section up. Pointless because you wouldn't see it. I bring the leftover first, then the right, and zip up. Well, this is just a concept. I have not tested this um, in any kind of conditions least in a hammock but as you can see it was very very easy to get in and out with the central zip the blizzard blanket folds and wraps around um, the 58 pack bag very easily very easy to zip up hood easy access and I do feel instantly warm instantly warm it'd be interesting I think to take this out for the night I don't even know if it's going to perform at all yet alone whether it's going to perform well or not this could be right up my street this a bedroll you can put in a hammock I mean how, how simple do you need it but without the blizzard bag underneath and wrapped around the actual uh, pad itself it wouldn't work because I've tried it that way it works and you get through the night, uh, not so much a winter. You can get through a spring and summer easy, just on pad and sleeping bag. We all know that. But just this additional layer here wrapped around everything, but inside the bivy, I think is going to work a treat. I reckon that's what we do, you know, is uh, take the system out as it is. If you can put up with the noise of this reflective. I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, I, I'll sleep through it. Don't you worry. But I'm going to stay here for a bit and iron out any wrinkles, see what comes of it. And if it works for two, three hours now, it's going to work for the night. My feet are so warm. Like you won't believe, and they're the first things to go on me in a hammock when when it's cold. Right, I'm going to leave it here, and I will see you next time on Bet the Bug Out Vibe. You take care of yourself. Happy trails.